have been accused of covering up child sex abuse and moving those accused of offences from Northern Ireland to the Republic. The Taoiseach made the claims during a Doyle debate prompted by Maria Cahill's allegations that she was raped by a member of the IRA. The Sinn Féin president, Gerry Adams, said he believed Ms Cahill was abused, but he rejected claims that his party was involved in a cover-up of abuse. With Maria Cahill watching from the Doyle's public gallery, the Taoiseach tore into Gerry Adams and Sinn Féin, claiming the Belfast woman had been sincere and dignified in her account of her abuse, but the IRA had humiliated her and degraded her all over again. Like the church, the Republican movement had put the institution ahead of the individual, moving perpetrators south of the border. Today I would say to Sinn Féin that if you want to rescue any sense, any semblance of credibility, from these events, you will tell the legitimate authorities exactly who these people are, be they volunteers or decommissioned. You will tell us where they are, what they do, because if they are a risk to any family, our society, we need to know and we need to act to protect them. And from a Fine Gael backbencher claims that she knew of eight abusers moved south by Sinn Féin. To be honest with you, I'm too afraid to name them here today. So I've exercised my duty by making an appointment uh, with my local sergeant on Friday morning to hand over that information uh, to the Angarda Siakana and to report these men. Tornish to Joan Burton told TDs Republicans should lay off Maria Cahill. The least she deserves is that the Sinn Féin president calls off the dogs of war on Maria Cahill. Michal Martin said he'd met other victims of Republican rape, brothers whose assailant had been interrogated by the IRA. The brothers were given three choices. We'll execute him, we'll bring him to you to deal with him, or we will expel him. The brothers obviously wanted no hand, act or part in any murder. This rapist was exiled from the country. But there was no possibility allowed of him being handed over to the, to the legitimate forces of justice in our country. But the Sinn Féin leader said that Republicans had been subjected to trial by media, with Maria Cahill shaking her head in the public gallery. He said the debate was being held at the whim of the Taoiseach and the Fianna Fáil leader. After decades of abandoning people in the north, Today, your main worry is electoralism. And he rejected the main claim made by the Taoiseach. In his eagerness to exploit this issue and to smear me and Sinn Féin, the Taoiseach claims that sex offenders were moved to Dublin, Donegal and Louth. Now, I have no knowledge of these claims. And his deputy said everyone accused of child abuse, from priests to IRA men, should face the full rigours of the law. That is the case irrespective of who the perpetrator may be. There are no exceptions to this rule. Nobody is exempt. Nobody within any group, any organisation. And let me say explicitly, that includes Republicans and former members of the IRA. But Sinn Féin and its leader in particular still had questions to answer. The woman at the centre of the debate said tonight... He had an opportunity today to be a man and stand up and say what happened. That I was brought into a room to face my abuser after a forced IRA investigation. Their words. And he failed to do it. This debate now over. It remains to be seen, though, if there's real damage to Sinn Féin. And David joins us now from Government Buildings. David, as you say, the debate over. But politically, is that the end of it for Sinn Féin? Make no mistake, Eileen, uh, the real focus of this debate was an intensely political one. TDs and government parties and in Fianna Fáil have real sympathy uh, for Maria Cahill, but their target was undoubtedly uh, Sinn Féin. You only had to look at how the Taoiseach sought to portray the controversy. Yes, it was about the sexual abuse of a young person in Belfast. Yes, it was about a cover-up uh, and a botched investigation. Uh, but now, today, it was about... Sinn Féin and the Republican movement spiriting alleged abusers south of the border. You only have to look at the gauntlet that Enda Kenny threw down to Gerry Adams in the Doyle. He said, tell us where they are and what they're doing, because if they're a risk to our families, we need to know present tense. Now, that is the intensely contemporary uh, allegation that the Taoiseach hopes will strike a chord with voters. Uh, but 
Will it? Uh, the question is uh, the, whether there is any new material likely to emerge uh, from today's debate. We await and see what Regina Doherty has to tell her local guard, the sergeant, in the next days. But TDs on the, on the government side to whom I've spoken are sceptical. They feel really that the most they can hope for is that the growing appeal of Sinn Féin might be slowed or even capped. And remember one thing, Eileen, in the days after the BBC Spotlight programme uh, broke this story, when the controversy was at its height, a newspaper deeply antipathetic to Sinn Féin published an opinion poll that showed that party to be the most popular in the country.